Why is insulin important and how can you make your insulin work better? Hi, I am Dr. Maria Conley and today I am going to talk about how insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes develop. So what is insulin? It's a hormone that is released from your pancreas after eating when your blood sugar levels are high. It binds to receptors on muscle and fat cells which then allows these cells to take up glucose from your blood to be used as fuel. So how well does your insulin work? A lot of it depends on your body composition. Insulin works more efficiently when it binds to insulin receptors on muscle cells compared to when it binds to receptors on fat cells. In humans, an insulin molecule binding to a muscle insulin receptor is able to clear two to three times more glucose from the blood than can an insulin molecule reacting with a fat tissue receptor. Because muscle and fat cells compete for the same insulin molecules, the relative proportion of muscle and fat tissue in your body determines where the insulin will go. Another important consideration is where your fat tissue is stored. Visceral fat that's stored in the abdominal cavity around your organs typically receives a lot of blood flow, about 25 to 35 percent of your body's total blood flow. In contrast, the fat stored just underneath the skin and the subcutaneous compartment only receives about 5% of your total blood flow. So this means that the fat cells stored in your abdomen will be getting much more insulin molecules as they're receiving more blood flow. This is one reason that abdominal fat contributes more to insulin resistance than subcutaneous fat, so the fat right underneath your skin that you can pinch. If you have too many insulin receptors on fat cells, your pancreas is forced to release more insulin to clear the same amount of glucose from the bloodstream. This leads to a condition called hyperinsulinemia, or having too much insulin in the blood. Like many hormone receptors in the body, insulin receptors become less sensitive to insulin over time. This process called homologous desensitization affects many systems in your body. This is your body's way of trying to maintain balance or homeostasis. It's a vicious cycle. As the receptors on your visceral fat cells in their abdominal cavity require more insulin molecules to clear the same amount of glucose or sugar from the blood, these same receptors become less sensitive to insulin over time, requiring progressively higher amounts of insulin to do the same job. We have a reinforcing cycle where any given glucose load requires higher levels of insulin, yet the same receptors, when exposed to more insulin, become less sensitive to it. This is how you develop insulin resistance and eventually type 2 diabetes. So why does body composition matter? Well, for 99.9% .9 of our existence, the bodies of Homo sapiens have carried more muscle and much less fat than we do today. Male ancestral hominins likely carried anywhere from 11 to 14% body fat, while females average 15 to 24% fat. The bones of pre-agricultural humans indicate that they had a similar proportion of muscle to fat as elite athletes do today. In males, this would be a ratio of about 5 to 1 with 50% muscle and about 10% fat. In females, this ratio can be as high as 3 to 1 with 45% muscle and 15% fat. In contrast, many humans today have too much fat tissue. In men, this would be greater than 25% of your total body composition, and in women, greater than 35%. In too little muscle, 
This would be less than 40% in men and less than 30% in women. This kind of skewed body composition reduces your body's sensitivity to insulin and increases your risk of developing type 2 diabetes and insulin resistance. Since we no longer have to expend any significant physical effort to consume food, these calories are often just stored as fat. So we're not going out and hunting our food or anything like that. In order to maintain an adequate amount of muscle mass and preserve your insulin sensitivity, your body requires a consistent and regular amount of physical movement and muscle contraction. In addition, Many food products today that are available can be really hard to resist. They have been engineered to be very calorically dense and unnaturally high in both fat and sugar. We'll talk more about that later. Bottom line, the more muscle and the less fat in your body, the better your insulin is going to work. Thank you for listening. I hope that this is helpful for you.